Hey, what up, y'all? And I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna be installing parts that I had got from Traxxas on the Stampede 4x4. And I'm gonna show y'all all the parts that I'm gonna be installing on the Stampede 4x4. And I'm gonna let y'all look at that right now. And these are all the parts that I'm gonna be installing on the Stampede 4x4. Which are the GTR shocks, the aluminum drive shafts, the aluminum drive shaft, the metal bearing, the springs, and the heavy duty suspension arms. And I also got 30 weight and 40 weight shock fluid. And that's what I'm going to be using on the shocks. But first I'm going to work on the shocks. And I'll let y'all see how I'm going to be working on them. And I'll know if I'm going to be using 30 weight or 40 weight shock fluid in them. But I'm going to be using 40 weight shock fluid in them. Because it's a little bit thicker. And that's what I'm going to be using in these shocks. And I'm going to start working on these now. Next, I'm going to install the suspension arms. And before I do that, I have to take all the tires off so I can get to the suspension arms. I had to take some of this off in the front to get to the suspension arms. But these two screws up here uses a 2.0 millimeter screw. And these screws on the side uses a 2.5 millimeter screw. And the ones at the bottom uses 2.0 millimeter screws here. And on the back of the suspension arm, it uses a 2.5 millimeter screw. And that's what I'm about to use to get these screws off. And I'm going to start unscrewing them so I can get to the suspension arms. Oh, and I forgot that there's a screw in the middle that I had to unscrew in order to get this plate off. So I'm going to screw that and I'm going to unscrew these four screws that's holding the suspension arm. And I'm going to unscrew them now.
I had did all the suspension arms, including the rear. And I had did the same process in the rear, just like I had did the front. And now I'm on to the tri shafts. And these are the aluminum tri shafts that I'm going to be installing now.
I had finally got the aluminum drive shafts installed, but it had took me an hour to install them. But I had finally installed them, and now I'm on to the aluminum tri shaft. But first, I have to unscrew these two screws on the top, and I have to unscrew these two screws under the bottom to get to the tri shaft. And it looks like I'm going to have to unscrew this screw that's holding the plastic tri shaft here. So I'm going to unscrew that and take that out and put the aluminum tri shaft in. Well, it looked like I had to unscrew all this in the front in order to get to the tri shaft. But I'm going to put an aluminum one on anyway. So I'm going to take this out and I'll be back with the aluminum one. And I have this aluminum one from Traxxas and that's what I'm going to be installing now. I'm sorry that it had took me a while to get this adapter for my aluminum tri shaft. I thought I didn't need it at first, but the way it had looked inside, I saw that I had needed it. So I had to get the adapter from Traxxas and install it on here. And it had fit the aluminum tri shaft. And I saw that I had needed an adapter for it. So I had got it and put it on, and it had worked. And now it's on there. And I'm going to be changing out this rubber bearing to the aluminum bearing that I had got from Traxxas. And while I'm doing this, 
I'm gonna change out the plastic gear and put the metal gear that I had got from Traxxas onto the spur gear. And I'm gonna be changing that out now. And these are the parts that I'm going to be installing on the spur gear. But first, I'm going to install the gear and then the bearing. And this is a 50 teeth gear that I had put together. And I have a pinion gear that goes with it. But I try not to damage these. These are the main parts. These are the main parts that I have to take care of. And if I damage these... I'll probably end up getting another one of these and I don't want to do that because it'll be a pain to get another one of these so I don't want to damage them but I got this installed and now I'm gonna install the bearing I got a new aluminum bearing and that's what I'm gonna be installing now Now I'm going to tighten this down and I'm going to unloosen it a little.
by turning it clockwise. Now I'm going to put this gear adapter back on and put this back in. I thought about putting ultra shocks on this thing, but I said, well, I'm going to try some other shocks, which are these ultra shocks and see how they work on this thing for a while. And that's what I'm about to install. These are the rear ultra shocks. And these are the front ultra shocks. This is the rear shocks, and this is the front shocks. And I got red shock caps installed on them. And this is what I'm going to be installing on this thing. And I also got red springs for them. And these will look way better on the ultra shocks. And these are from Traxxas 2. And that's what I'm going to be installing now. And I'm going to let you look at the work process of me installing them. So I'm going to do that now. But first, I'm going to remove the shocks that are on here, and I'm going to remove the screws that are holding on the top and the bottom. And once I get that off, and once I remove that, I'm going to remove the rod in and swap it on to the GTR shocks. And next, I'm going to be adding 40 weight shock fluid in this shock, but I have to get this off first with my tool. And I'm going to add 40 weight shock fluid to this shock. I don't want to overfill it.
that's about it. I'm gonna close this cap back. Hold on, wait a minute. My shock cap fell, but I got it back. And I'm putting this shock cap on. And I'm gonna get my tool and tighten this. And wipe this off. And move this back and forth. See, I'm doing it like this to move the piston back and forth so all the shock fluid can get in there. And I'm going to keep doing this until I feel pressure in the shocks. I feel a little bit pressure in the shocks when I'm working it back and forth. And you know that there's a piston inside that keeps the shock fluid from getting out. And I think that's about it. I'm using a thick piece of paper towel in these pliers right here to screw the rod in off. But I don't want to damage my rod or else it'll cause me a lot of problems in the end. So I had to put a thick piece of paper around this rod so I can unscrew this rod in off. I'm doing it like this so I won't damage the rod. That's off. And now I'm gonna put the other one on. There, I got that on, and now I'm going to install them. Oh, but before I do that, I have to put this spacer on. And this Ultrashock spring on that goes with it. And I have to put this piece on that holds the spring in place. And there I have it. I have finally installed the Ultra Shocks. And they look cool and they look great. And I have put 40 way shock fluid in all four Ultra Shocks so that'll be smooth. And that's gonna do it for me. And you have saw that I had did the tri shafts, the aluminum bearing, the aluminum tri shaft, and the Ultra Shocks. And I want to let y'all know that I had put aluminum wheel hex hubs on my Stampede 4x4 while I was off camera. And that's what I was doing. And I want y'all all to know that. And on the next video, 
I'm going to be installing a Felinium brushless motor that I had got from Traxxas a few weeks ago. And that's what I'm going to be installing on the Stampede 4x4. And that's what y'all see. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And that'll be it for me. And I'll see you in the next video.